So, it's been almost two weeks since I've uploaded any videos. Um, my apologies, of course. Um, first, uh, the reason being the first I went out of town on a church trip. But then I got sick during the church trip, so I had to leave that and... Yeah. And then I was just working on the on Disney dude and not a lot of news stories came up and I haven't like seen a lot of movies recently like I haven't really gotten the chance to watch movies recently mainly because like a lot of other crap going on in my life like so far like three movies have come out that I plan to watch Sonic the Hedgehog, Call of the Wild, and The Invisible Man. And I haven't got to see any of them. I do plan to see Onward this weekend. Because for the first time um, in almost a month, nothing is going on this weekend. Or at least on a Friday. Because when Sonic came out, it was Valentine's Day. And, uh, on, um... Uh, when Call of the Wild came out, I was out of town on the church trip, and when The Invisible Man came out, um, that stuff more personal. It was more personal stuff, so, yeah. Well, actually, I, my, my friends were in a play, and I wanted to go watch them in the play. So, yeah. Theater stuff, please. So anyway, let's get to the real meat of this video. And so we all know the Indiana Jones series. Um, you know, it was originally a trilogy. Everyone loved it. Yet for some reason, um, Spielberg and Lucas just decided to make a fourth one. Everyone hated it. And um, now... For some reason, Spielberg and Lucas decided to make a fifth one. Because you can't just leave good enough alone. So, my experience with the Indiana Jones movies, I've only, in their entirety, I've only seen um, Raiders of the Lost Ark and Temple of Doom. So... It means I have not seen Last Crusade or, or uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. I forgot the name there for a second. And, um, yeah. So, and Disney is now going to be making the fifth one. Which, um, I don't know if you've noticed, but Harrison Ford is not getting any younger. Because, like, with Star Wars movies, you can just keep adding characters. Cause, so, the problem of one of the actors dying, like, really won't be a problem. You can just write that their character dies. Um, the problem with Indiana Jones is that it's in the name of the franchise. Indiana Jones. Has to be Indiana Jones. And since you decided to screw up and age the guy up, the big freaking crystal skull, you can't just pull a James Bond and just get a new actor every time. You know, it has to be Harrison Ford or just have Shia LaBeouf and have the movies just be young Indiana Jones. But that's not what this video is about. Another thing I'd like to talk about about the new Indiana Jones movies is that, or the new one coming out next year, is that, um, that if you paid attention, Disney did not put the, lo the Disney logo behind any of their Star Wars movies. They just showed the Lucasfilm logo. But for, so it's most likely that they're going to do the same thing for Indiana Jones. It's been a tradition for the past four movies for there to all 
for there to always be something resembling the Paramount logo. Something to dissolve into the Paramount logo. Like, see the Paramount logo, it dissolves into something that looks like it. How are you going to do that with the Lucasfilm logo? You can't. Either maybe they can get away with doing it with the Disney logo. That'd be cool. So, yeah. There's never been a... To my knowledge, I don't think any of the Indiana Jones movies had the Lucasfilm logo. And uh, there... But maybe I'm just having dumb memory. So, I've rambled on about the dumbness and the fact that they're making a fifth Indiana Jones movie for long enough. But now, let's talk about um, the news stories that has actually been going on. Um... Steven Spielberg has left the film. Now, why is Steve just gone even though we've trusted him with literally all the other films in this franchise? I, I, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um... He's replaced by James Mangold, who has previously directed films such as Logan and Ford vs. Ferrari. And, um, those were pretty well-received movies. Um, don't know if he could tackle, like, a fun action-adventure film like Indiana Jones. Uh, for me, it's just a kind of wait and see. And how come every single Lucasfilm production has to have the director fired? I mean, it hasn't worked out for either of them so far. I mean, Solo's directors got fired. And, and that didn't turn out so well. The last... The Rise of Skywalker's director got fired, and that was really underwhelming. And now, Indiana Jones 5 director got fired, or he left. Whatever, it, it doesn't matter. And it will probably be underwhelming. Because when. When a movie, even like some non Lucasfilm examples on a director just getting fired and replaced by another one, like say Justice League again, Wonder Park, both those films ended up sucking. I mean, granted, I haven't seen Wonder Park, but I've heard, I've heard the stories. I've heard the stories, my dudes. <laughs> So, what will this mean for the movie? It'll probably suck. And the fact that, one, the fact that it will follow in the footsteps of Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, and two, the fact that Spielberg got fired. So, yeah. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Give me your thoughts in the comments below. What do you feel about this whole situation of Spielberg getting fired? Or leaving, whatever. Uh, just let me know in the comments below. And, uh, yeah. And are you still looking forward to the next Indiana Jones movie? Or do you think it's going to be a big old pile of poop? It's, it probably will at this point. Anyway, guys. I'll see you later. Bye!